Hey, what's going on guys? How have you been? So I've got a really cool project coming your way today. Been getting a lot of questions asking, what am I gonna do for exhaust on the CR250 build? So I've got that figured out, got the system here behind me. So let me show you what's up. So here's the pipe. It is a custom hand welded pipe by DPR out of the Netherlands. Very, very cool looking pipe. Exactly what I wanted for this build but there's a few things I wanna to do to it beforehand. Mainly, let me show you right here. Uh, it seems like after they, uh, after they welded it, they ground down the welds here. So not really a big fan of the grind marks there. So I'm gonna clean up the whole pipe, or the whole pipe, strip it down, um, heat treat the welds, bring some color out of it, and just make this thing pop. And there's one more thing here. I mean, they did a beautiful job with welding the pipe. Really, really good welds. But this mount here, just, I don't know, really janky looking. And I'm gonna try to clean that up a little bit, maybe uh, round the edges off. I'm just kind of picky that way, not really a big deal. So that's the pipe, and I'll show you the silencer here. So I ordered up this PC silencer, really big fan of these things. Nice and short, they look really cool. And so I'm gonna do a similar thing to this as well. Pull it apart, just add a little bit of color to it. Nothing too crazy, just kind of personalize it for my liking. So let's get started with making this exhaust look trick. All right, so how I'm gonna be cleaning up this pipe is using the scotch Brite wheel here on the buffing machine. And what that is gonna do is strip all the coloring, all the grind marks off the pipe and bring it to a nice clean, bright finish. That way you can heat treat it later on. It looks super cool. So these wheels are available over on my website, primemx.com. Really versatile wheel. I use them for everything from cleaning aluminum, cleaning steel, cleaning a pipe like this. There's a, so many different ways you can use it. So definitely go check them out at primemx.com. All right, let's see what kind of magic it can do on this pipe. So I've got the pipe all cleaned up, looking pretty shiny, but definitely needs some color to it. So what I'm gonna do is take the propane torch and heat up the welded seams, starting at the back side. I'm gonna start like back here where you can't see it, and then heat it up until there's some color coming out, and then just follow that seam all the way around with a steady hand, and color should come out pretty good and consistent. Man, that is gonna look so freaking cool once I get the whole pipe done. Be nice to get a little thinner of a color band though. I'm gonna try going a little bit closer to the pipe this time. So that one was a little better. Really tough to get these things consistent though. So you can see what I mean when I say start on the back side of the pipe because when you go all the way around, come back and overlap, there's gonna be a little bit of mismatch here with the color. So this is on the back side of the pipe, so not a big deal at all.
So that one turned out a lot better, way more consistent all the way around. So I think the key to it is applying a little less heat or holding the heat on it for less time. So you want to be moving your way around and not waiting for the color to come out before you start you know, working your way all the way around. You can always come back and touch it up too. Oh man, I'm freaking sweating my balls off in here. It's like 90 degrees and then working with a torch too, gets pretty warm. So that is the final result right there. Pretty freaking sweet looking if you ask me. Exactly the look I was going for. If you guys are looking to pick up one of these super trick, hand welded, beautiful looking pipes, they are made by DPR. Now this is not a sponsorship. I paid full price for this pipe because it was the exact one that I wanted for this build. And I believe DPR makes pipes for other two strokes too. Definitely CR85s and 125s and uh, maybe even like KX, RMs, and YZs too. So I'll put the link to their eBay store where I bought this pipe down below in the description and I'll link the silencer down there too. So since this pipe is raw steel, it is gonna rust if I don't coat it with anything. So the product I like to use to keep the rust off is Maxima MPPL. It's what I've been using on the raw pipe on my 125. Haven't had an issue yet and so I just spray it down after every single time I wash the bike and keeps all the rust off. And one more thing to keep in mind too, when you have a raw pipe or like a uh, heat treated pipe is the color is going to change once you ride it. So it's going to turn a little more dark, like purplish and bluish, the more time you put on it. So eventually this thing is just going to be like bluish and purplish all the way, probably up to here, somewhere around here. And for the silencer, I'm going to do some heat treating on this as well. Gonna pull off the Singer pipe, do some heat coloring around the weld and just add some color to the whole thing. And the end cap as well. And I'll need to pull all the packing out of the silencer so that way I don't burn it when I'm heat treating the end cap. So the heat process for the silencer is going to be very similar to that of the pipe. Just got to be really careful. That way you get consistent color all the way around. It is really tough to get consistent coloring on these, but I'm pretty happy with this one. Fuck, that's hot. All right, just one last piece to work on right here. I think I'm just gonna fade some of this color out about halfway down the pipe, and that should look pretty good.
All right, I'm gonna call that good right there. Pretty sweet looking. Just gotta peel up this tape a little bit. That way I can lay down the packing on the stinger pipe again. Wrap it tighter on the core, kind of roll it up, and just retape it. Pretty simple deal. Just gonna slide it all the way down inside the cap, just like that. Make sure it's sticking out the end. Don't want to wrap it too tight. And now I've got some high temp silicone to apply right here on the stinger. So it seals up against the canister. Freaking hate these silicone tubes. They get all plugged up or gummed up here in the cap. So I gotta squeeze it out the side and just brush it on. Works out pretty good though. Now we can just slide the whole thing right into the silencer canister here. Just gotta work that packing in, make sure it's not getting bound up on anything. And then once you get to the end cap here, just gotta wiggle things around to get that core into the end cap. There we go. See, that should be the right holes right there. Yeah, that looks right. Just gonna slip it right onto the stinger pipe. You gotta have these holes lined up perfectly for them to work. I've gotten them off just a little bit and cross threaded the bolts. Not a good thing. There we go, that one's in straight. That one looks good. Shit. There we go. Let's tighten these suckers down and this silencer will be good to go. Man, that silencer just looks so trick. Just super clean and simple, just the way I like it. Man, I am absolutely in love with this exhaust system. Turned out much better than I expected. So once again, if you guys are looking to do the same thing with your pipe, make like a nice raw finish, or you're doing any sort of aluminum or steel cleaning, these cleaning pads are the way to go. Mount them up on a buffer or just use them by hand. You can clean aluminum frames, prep for paint or powder coat, uh, strip off rust, paint, or corrosion, uh, clean up a pipe like we did here. The list goes on and on. Just super versatile and really handy to have. So you can buy these over on my website, primemx.com and I'll link them down below as the first link in the description box. That is gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Got a lot more content coming your way with the CRT50 build. All right guys, keep it prime.